fantastic singles action. That's some really great matchups so far here today. Had Navratil's number the last couple times that they have faced off. Let's see if Navratil can turn the tides here a little. Told probably get the better of them mm -hmm. most times and not. players trying to do just that. Zane with the Ernie. Yeah, and he didn't get enough on it for J.W. Johnson not to be able to handle that, which was what ultimately was... We saw it earlier, when you have a player that comes up again, try to be a little too perfect because nothing else is working. That is exactly right. Zane not off the start he was hoping for. Firepower, but J.W. Johnson just able to hit down on the ball more often than hitting up on it. Well, when you can shape the ball as well. And Zane Navratil is on the board. That's... That Just a little out of the reach for... Ooh. Oh, wow. Fortunate net clip right up to the kitchen. A little more often. Agreed. Picking up significantly right now. Oh yeah, and you could tell on that last shot there from Johnson how much the wind just picked up. That ball just died. Big serve by Zane Navratil, catching the back line. Even hit it. Silver medalist Danielle Perrin and Benoit Dumas, and your gold uh -huh. medalist. Yeah, we're definitely getting some of the biggest gusts we've had so far this weekend. Great matches. Yeah, all you can see on that point. This looks like J.W. Johnson is on full maximum destruction mode. <laughs> Wink. That's oh, he gives it in. back. That's going in, too. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If he, if he had gotten... <laughs> <laughs> Alleys. I mean, look, look wow. at how much he's making him move. He can just get under that ball so well and shape it over. There's just nothing Zane Navratil can do about that. And there's game one, 11-4 for J.W. Johnson. Game number two, us off into game number two of our men's pro singles winner bracket final. J.W. Johnson now on the near end, Zane Navratil on the far end. Ooh, that's just too good. Yeah, Johnson taking <laughs> game one, 11-4. And his reign of terror seems to be continuing here in game two. Also, my gold medal winners in the 3.5 and your court number 17. Don't let anybody else take your medals, okay? Oh, it's 
just, he's everywhere. He's J everywhere. JW is just a machine. The way he volleys is just so solid and compact. No big swings. Able to just redirect the ball with ease. Yeah, we saw Navratil break a paddle yesterday in uh, doubles out of frustration. I, I don't think we'll see another paddle break today, but definitely consensus frustration. Bringing the firefight right at J.W. Johnson. Mm -hmm. Far end into the wind is a little advantageous because you can hit the ball maybe even harder and it holds it up a little oh. bit. And yeah, we've seen Navratil last weekend, a little bit in game one as well. Just struggling to get something going. He's had some really great rallies, some really great shots, but he just hasn't been able to string enough of them together. That is amazing. It's so low. He gets his legs. You can see just how balanced and low JW gets when he hits those ground strokes. Good serve by Zane there to force a lofty return by JW. Yeah, winner of this match is heading to the gold medal match. Loser will head to bronze. Here as we are working our way through our brackets. Five, two. Impressive gets there by Johnson, but Zane just does such a good job moving the ball around. Able to get one where Johnson wasn't able to return. Yeah, I mean, quite frankly, Navarro really dialed in. Not a lot of errors from him. That means Navarro has to be equally. Is almost perfect. Yeah, I mean, to beat either one of these guys, you have to be able to ex execution, and Johnson is just... really being able to convert more points go his way. Hill. Yep, just long. Johnson stretches his lead a little bit. I just going to see if uh, Navratil calls a timeout here soon. With Johnson, someone who definitely holds himself to a very high standard. So even if he's winning a match pretty convincingly, if he's missing easy balls, he really beats himself up about it. Chris Ciamato and Noah Roman, please head immediately to court number six. Your match is waiting. He's starting to break out of his shell a little. And that's just too good by Zane. Took a lot of pace off the ball. Able to just squeak it by right over the net. 